Welcome to our video team presentation for assessment 1B. As we all know, the supply chain is an ideal tool for decision making, strategic planning, and also a means of communication. Specifically, in this video, we will illustrate the whole process to produce Henneken Premium Beer, including five main stages demand management, procurement, operation, inventory, and distributions. Our team members including Min Yok, Min Mui, Ni, Thuk An, and Min Ji. Now let's move on to the first part of the supply chain process of Henny Ken, which is demand management. 154 years ago in 1864, Gerard Henneken established a small brewer in Amsterdam city, Holland. Many years have passed and Henneken has become the second larger producer in the world. As of 2017, Henneken owns over 165 breweries in more than 70 countries and it introduces over 250 types of international, regional and local beers and ciders to customers. In order to achieve this success, logistics and supply chain management have made a huge contribution. This video will present how these processes work and how they create value for this international lager company. Products are produced to satisfy the demand of customers, so Heineken must investigate the market deeply to determine what kind of product it will produce, the quantity of these products, and when to produce them. This process is called demand management. There are some approaches of demand management. Let's get started with the first essential approach, which is demand forecasting. Henny can use both quantitative and qualitative methods to forecast the demand in order to achieve the best result. Quantitative using data in the past, and then analyzing and proposing a forecast for the future demand. Whereas qualitative using subjective experience of a group of people such as board of management, experts and market researchers to draw a future demand. Besides, stock out or running out of good is a nightmare during operation and Hanneken must estimate the cost of stock out. In other words, it has to calculate how much revenue and how many customers would lose if stock out occurs. By achieving a good forecast, this company can meet the market demand and increase customer satisfaction level and of course, its competitive advantage. Heineken usually takes nearly a month to finish a beer production cycle. If stock out happens, customers are willing to wait Heineken producing or turning to all the beer suppliers. A huge loss can be foreseen to this beer company. In 2017, its operation profit is higher than nearly 12% compared to its expectation. This remarkable milestone proved that Heineken had an accurate forecast for production. After forecasting the demand, the result will be used for planning process. Heineken implemented sales and operations planning solution from JDA for production planning. This method involves functional departments such as sales, marketing, finance, supply chain, having many meetings to draw a plan for Heineken. Monthly data will be collected to analyze in the first step, then reports are produced for the second step, which is demand planning. During this process, a sales forecast for the future is conducted. After that, the supply planning process will point out the inventory resources issues. During the fourth step, recommendations for sales and operations issues are made and those solutions will be discussed in the final meeting and the final decisions will be selected during this executive meeting. 
by having various departments, Heineken knows exactly how it operates in two aspects, sales and operations. From sales perspective, Heineken has to meet customer demand, maintain high level of customer service, and achieve the market share. In the other hand, operation team will focus on operating effectively and efficiently. They care about the level of inventory, research and development, cost of designing, testing, producing a new product, and resources needed for production. Thanks to cross-functional approach, Heineken has achieved some desirable results. It has level of customer service level, the level of inventory, controlling business and communication within business. Hi, I am Minh Nhật and I'm going to talk about the procurement process of Hennecan Company. First, let's find out what does procurement mean. Procurement refers to the processes that are associated with the company's need to procure goods and services that are required to manufacture a product or to operate the organization. It is also considered to be one of the most important elements in supply chain as well as a strategic working function, according to Mangan 2016. The example activities of the procurement process includes products and service sourcing, supplier selection, price negotiation, contract management, transaction management, and supplier performance management. So, the first responsibility of the procurement department is to manage supplier performance. All operating companies must follow the supplier code's procedures with four basic steps, which are Step 1, Signing Step 2, Supplier Risk Analysis Step 3, Supplier Monitoring And Final Step, Audit Specifically, by imposing the code of conduct onto the suppliers, the supplier code must be completed and signed by the suppliers. For those suppliers who do not sign the Hennigan Supplier Code are often delisted. At Step 3, Supplier Risk Assessments are performed through Ecovative's platform. For the final step, Step 4, High Risk Suppliers are audited by a third party and if they do not comply, will be either delisted or requested to improve through an agreed action plan. For those suppliers with no demonstrable measures to match their corruption risk may therefore be excluded. There are also many values that are created by supplier performance management. Firstly, the four step procedures apply to all handicapped suppliers of materials and services and provide clear guidelines and minimum standards to comply within the areas of integrity and business conduct, human rights, and the environment. Through the local sourcing effort as well as the supplier code procedures, Hennecan can ensure a consistent supply of their raw materials to meet the growing demand of customers. Thirdly, the company is able to create and sustain a strategy competitive advantage over its competitors, especially their procurement process. And as a result, in 2014, more than 51,000 suppliers have signed the code of conduct. 47,500 suppliers have been screened via the supplier risk analysis tool, and 1,500 have been identified as high risk and were required to undergo the Ecovatus CSR assessment. The next part of procurement process is product sourcing. First, let's find out the local sourcing of the packaging materials. In Vietnam, 75% of packaging materials are locally sourced. This includes glass, cans, and carton for packaging as well as rice husk, which is used as fuel for Hennecan biomass boilers. Hennecan Vietnam currently don't source raw materials locally as Vietnam 
climatic conditions are suitable for the growth of these ingredients. Instead, they import only the best from any can pre approved suppliers, including Europe, Australia, and other places. So, the next local sourcing is the raw materials. According to CAN 2017, raw material cost is said to make up 40% of the total operating budget and any changes in the price of raw material can affect the profit margin. Therefore, even the efficient process procurement can create enormous value for the company. As you can see, the raw materials to create um, handy can premium beer including malt or barley, hops, adjuncts, compounds, and many other flavors. For the packaging materials, there are glass, metal, plastic, and paper. In 2015, aim has aimed to deliver 50% of raw materials in Africa via local sourcing, and in 2020, 60% of raw material is hoped to deliver in Africa via local sourcing. In Africa, there are many benefits that Hennekin decides to do local sourcing of raw materials of Hennekin beer at this continent. Firstly, they can secure a sustainable supply of raw materials for its beer. It also helps to strengthen the competitiveness of the African agriculture sector, eventually lowering the price of local grants. Thirdly, it improves the livelihood of rural household over time and the final benefit is reduce the its own carbon footprint by shortening its supply chains for raw materials and cutting transportation costs. In general, local sourcing brings many benefits to both social, environmental and financial aspects. It allows us to create jobs in the domestic market benefiting smallholder far farmers and factories. It also can achieve cost savings and reductions on our carbon footprint relating to transportation along the value chain. The next function in the supply chain of a product is operation management. But first, let's find out what is operation management. Operation management can be defined as the building function responsible for planning, coordinating, and controlling the resources needed to produce products and services for a company. Operation is the information process, any activity or group of activities that take one or more inputs, transform and add value to them, and provide outputs for the customer or client. Where the inputs are raw material, it is relatively easy to identify the transformation involved as when wraps transform into Y. The main task of operation manager depending large part upon the nature inside of enterprise, but they need a wide range of business and interpersonal skill to succeed. In general, the responsibility of operation manager is planning, overseeing, and smooth communication. In this presentation, I want to mention about two operation manager responsibilities. The first one is managing the budget, and the second one is managing risk. One of the responsibilities of operation manager is to ensure that all resources of an organization are utilized to their maximum potential, as well as keep costs as low as possible we will have to give competitive advantage. By doing so, the operation manager keeps check on how much money is being spent on producing goods or providing services to the customer, and also be able to make decisions on how much the budget is to spend on new equipment or on hiring new employees, because we have in providing better quality products and services to the customer.
In this case, brewing a better world is a Heineken's long-term sustainability program, thanks to tightly managing to optimal efficiency. In 2015, Heineken tweeted that it has saved 75 million euro over the last year by using less energy and watering its breweries. Besides the big cost saver, keeping on top the equipment maintenance is a key role to minimize the cost of production. In the article, Trunker said that the saving is a question of setting up new machines. It's really a question of good maintenance and engineering. As a result, due to the huge number of cost savings as well as keep the equipment maintenance, production and revenue numbers of Hennigan have steadily increased. Besides that, Hennigan is making some green investment, transitioning to use small solar and wind power brewing equipment as well as using greener engine in their breweries. This investment helps to reduce water consumption and CO2 emission. Therefore, the operation manager play a key role in not only controlling and minimizing the cost of production, but also creating fun processes that are performed differently and better than from competitors. Risk management considered as an important responsibility of operation manager. As an operation risk manager, they will be responsible for managing the risk to the organization. As employees, customers, reputation, assets, and interests of stakeholders. Effective management risk form into a part of how hand can operate a, a business and is embedded in day to day operation. Ongoing identification, assessment risk, including new risks arising from changes in the global and local business environment, are an important part of can governance and performance management. Typically, to ensure supply chain continuity, the operation manager of Hennigan has a duty to guarantee constant supply of material to create goods. If not, it could result in inability to sell products to the customer, falling revenue and damaging the damage, the, and damaging the brand name. This Incident might be affected by unavailability or right in cost of raw material, facilities, electricity, and water. It can either be form of natural disaster, political issues, or military conflict. First, the responsibility of handicap measure is always having backup plan in case of the mentionable problem arise. This incident mentionable can happen without any notice, and it is better to be prepared. If well prepared, even if they will happen, it won't affect the firm and the process, production process much. Secondly, the operation manager have strategy to buy materials so that sign long-term contract. With this, the supplier will have to think twice if they want to break the deal. Hennigan will able to have a steady supply of raw material, even if crisis were to happen. Invest it on performance measurement system. This system will assure that the facility works effectively. It will also help measure to know if there is a shortage or a surplus in material so they can react and plan the situation making sure that the facility works smoothly and efficiently. Have at least two suppliers for all main production materials. This strategy is to make sure that even if something were to happen to one supplier, the firm will still have another. Therefore, in identifying backup suppliers and logistics services with my emergency sourcing, and multiple sourcing is one of main responsibilities of operation manager. Inventory management is one of the primary processes that add value to the supply chain. The latest inventory management approach deployed by Hedigan is distribution requirement planning. The enterprise is starting to explore the market of craft beer, which puts a lot of pressure on it in terms of flexibility. 
For the reason, inventory and cost in Heineken is being reduced. Inventory manager of Heineken showed the manager responsibilities, two of which are tracking inventory flow and maintaining perpetual communication with all the department's managers and other logistics partners. 1. Inventory Flow Tracking According to the job description of an inventory manager in Heineken, he is responsible for inventory plans, preparing documentations, maintaining inventory system accuracy, data integrity, and inventory levels. The work of inventory manager is to make sure that the overall logistical system has appropriate resources to meet customer needs as well as avoid overstocking items, which ties up cash and create storage issues. In other words, he is in charge of directing the flow of goods into, through, and out of organization storage facilities. He liaises with marketing, customer relations, and warehousing departments to ensure that the customer's order is properly filled with the exact good or precision. If the marketing department is running a promotion, the inventory manager should be apprised so he can include the promotional items in the order. The task carried out by inventory manager adds great value to the overall supply chain. First and foremost, they help Heineken avoid cleavage, theft, fraud, and other activities that adversely affect the organization's operations since the inventory manager always has a running toll. Secondly, they prevent the disruption in the manufacturer process occurring where it doesn't have enough raw material for production, which is considered as delays waste, one of the seven deadly waste. According to Toyota production system, such delays in production would cost Heineken tremendous time and money. The most important value is that they contribute to maintain high level of customer satisfaction towards the performance of Heineken by ensuring that all the time customers receive what they have ordered along with any other promotional items that come with it. The second responsibility is updating and receive information for strategic planning with other department managers and business partners about issues regarding inventory. In Heineken, inventory manager is required to be in close partnership with supply, demand, brewery partners, and distributors so that timely communication regarding any adjustment in ordering and delivering inventory can be updated and cascaded throughout the whole organization and the supply chain. Updating latest data and frequent communication between inventory manager and the management team of Heineken is an obligation. For example, the adoption of new processes which optimize the efficiency of the management of inventory may call for an in-depth discussion among the management team again, as such adjustments affect not only the operation of inventory department, but rather the organization as a whole. Another responsibility of inventory manager is to engage with project teams to evaluate various inventory allocation scenarios and the inventory impact of proposed changes within the supply chain. The perpetual communication between Heineken's inventory managers and other managers as well as other business partners is of essential importance to shorten success and long-term drive of the enterprise, especially once CBFR has been adopted as the key tool for supply chain cooperation between Heineken and other partners. From the point of view of external business partners, the real-time tracking and sharing of information from Heineken's inventory manager help minimize the devastating impact of COVID effect. As information transmitted along this writing is frequently updated and supervised by inventory manager, it tends to be instantaneously received and therefore more reliable for its cooperation between upstream and downstream partners. The share of knowledge and the inventory data across supply chain also results in benefits of lower inventory, lower product obsolescence and deterioration, and reduced capacity requirements. Almost immediately after its initial effort to collaborate on inventory forecasts, Heineken's North America has noted 15 to 20 percent increases in fuel rates and half the number of hour stop occurrences. The, num the communication adds value to the supply chain by providing information to determine procurement policy and strategies to improve profit for Heineken. Basing on discussions with inventory manager, Heineken management team would be able to get insights into performance of each product line and separate perhaps moving stocks from that ones. Thereupon, 
procurement policies and strategy may adjust it to optimize the production of most profitable product lines. Additionally, inventory manager can provide essential information for marketing purpose by gaining the knowledge of which product lies the most profitable and which is leaked. Marketing campaigns can focus on pushing sales of the most profitable product lies as well as minimize or eliminate investment of time and money on the least profitable ones. Distribution, which is a part of outbound logistic activities, is considered as one of the most important factors contributing to Heineken's large market share and strong brand recognition as today. Basically, the primary task of a distribution manager is to concern with receiving, processing, and delivering customer orders in order to make sure the products can be reached and consumed by the final consumers. After receiving orders from customers, the outbound distribution manager is in charge of accumulating the receipt of goods from various sources, checking the visibility of the stocks using IT system. For example, in Spain, Heineken is using Esker, an order management software, to help them in processing large quantity of order and determining the delivered time, calculating the cost, then sending the packages away. During the process of shipping, manager of Heineken's distribution department keeps track of product status to ensure they can arrive at the right time, right place, with right quantity and right quality. Heineken has multiple distribution channels, consists of directly distribute to end customers or to distribute through the intermediaries. Due to the shift of customer shopping habits from traditional brick and mortar store shopping trips to buying and selling everything online. In 2016, Heineken teamed up with Deliveroo, a British online food delivery company, to deliver the drinks to the home. The distribution manager has to control the entire process from online ordering to physical shipping, ensuring the products can get to every single customer smoothly. Besides personal selling strategy, Heineken has their own regional and national distribution centers in all the countries it operates. Together with having many strategic partners, including wholesaler agencies and retailers such as supermarkets, convenience stores, restaurants, bars, pubs, hotels, and vending partners, Heineken is using three main ways of transporting the beverage to the distributors and consumers, which are by automotive, by ship, and finally by aircraft, also the rail as well. Managing the transportation activities of the bottles and cans from warehouse to distributors is a duty of the manager. Without the presence of distribution manager, there would be no revenue generated for the company since the drinks couldn't be able to reach customers. Along with that, delivering products to the assigned location on time in the exact amount and free from defects will be time saving for both sides as well as strongly build the credibility and trust between company and customers. There are the values added from this distribution activities. Not only working with forward flow of orders, the distribution manager has to deal with the information flowing backward as well. Here is an example of what the distribution manager has to do with the flows. Back to 2015, a man was found violently ill after drinking a Heineken can which had two dead geckos inside. He demanded Heineken as well as its distribution partners to responsible for his medical bills, earning losses and other expenses. In cases of 40 products like that, including a broken bottle or dented cans, 
The distribution manager is the one who will be informed and come to take the products back. The manager needs to keep in touch with other customers to address their problem and ensure they are satisfied with the product and the distribution chain. As Heineken distribution manager directly solves the technical issues arising from errors in production of Heineken, customers would feel a sense of friendliness towards the enterprise. This would add more value to Heineken by strengthening the brand image and customer service reputation. The face-to-face -face interaction of distribution manager subsequently creates competitive advantages for Heineken over its competitors. Distribution department is in charge of managing the whole process from receiving others to delivering them towards customers. If there were any incidents occur in the distribution system, the products couldn't make it to the stage of customer consumption. Therefore, its role in the supply chain are crucial, being a significant part of Heineken's success.